Hi guys, I know it's been a long time since I've done my own video, but I figured everyone wanted to see what I was playing at Nationals. I'll give you a brief description of how the deck functioned, why I lost, and you know what I've come to conclude. So I was playing an anti-meta deck with a zombie engine. The deck list is down below, so you can see everything I was playing. And realistically speaking, the deck is quite good. Every matchup that I had, I could have won. I didn't play enough or practice enough against the meta and other decks as much as I wanted to. So my first round I played in sectors, and if I would have done the correct play instead of what I actually did, I would have beat them. Round two I played in a sector matchup again. I learned a little bit from my first round, so I beat the opponent quite easily. Round three I faced a dragon player. I make a misplay against an armory arm and not using Valor to negate the effect. I would have not died by battle and I would have still had a BLS on my field. I know that sounds a little bit confusing, but realistically I thought Valoring a Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon was better than Valoring an Armory Arm, which turned out to be the wrong play, and that cost me a game. In game two, he opened up with Future Fusion, and we know how that works out. So after that point, I realized that there's no way I'm going to win with X2 record. Plus, I clearly wasn't doing that well, so I decided to drop and go hang out with other people and just play around. However, the deck works quite well, and I'll show you some of the cool things that make the deck function. The heart and soul of the deck, Goblin Zombie. Searches for your Spirit Reapers, Mizuki, and more of him. It's a floater that creates a lot of pressure. Book of Life. Brings back Spirit Reaper, brings back Goblin Zombie, and removes and play a monster in the opponent's graveyard. It's great disruption, and it's great for pushing. Originally, this was a smashing ground. I changed it to Soul Taker. I probably would change it back to Smashing Ground because giving my opponent a thousand life points in a deck where I barely do any damage was not working out well at all. I panicked too much about the Dragon matchup, and it's my own fault. Obviously Thunder King Rai was amazing in the deck. My major concern was all of my monsters died horribly well to Card Trooper. In a Dragon matchup, Card Trooper is a boss, and there's nothing this deck can do well against it. I didn't realize that dinosaur players were now main decking snowman eaters and thunder king ryos. That caused a huge problem for me in playtesting later that weekend. Because I didn't realize that they had these boss monsters in the deck. So I'd swing it with my thunder king ryo, it'd be a snowman eater. It would kill my thunder king and now I'd have to dedicate a whole nother card just to kill it because all of my cards were too small so either I'd soul taker it or I'd have to use a dd warrior lady to get rid of a snowman eater. That was not good. The other card that I decided on main decking was Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer. A lot of you guys said that Banish of the Radiance was too small, and you're, you're very right. Kaiku as well though, is too small. It works well when you can pull it off and protect it, but realistically, like I said, they just summon a card trooper and kill it. it sucks. DD Warrior Lady. Your answer to everything. I was only playing two. Uh, after playing with the deck more and more, I realized this should probably be at three, and I should probably be main decking tour guide so that I can access Levier and bring it back. That's probably what I would do after if I changed it. Other than that, the deck does work very well. It's fun, it controls the game quite good, and its main goal is to simplify game state and get both players into the situation where they both have minimal cards so that your opponent can pull off minimal combos and you can just slowly whittle them down. So try it out on DN change it a bit, take some of my advice, play around with it, and maybe you'll like it. Otherwise, throughout the week, I'm going to be posting up more videos, cool stuff that I've looked into. The new set that comes out in August has some really broken cards in it, and they're probably going to be common, and I'm probably going to abuse the crap out of them. So, in a few days when I post up those videos, hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you guys on Friday.